Hello guys, what is up? It is Spooky Noodles, and I am back with another video. Today we're doing a book mail video, so strap in. Um, so yeah, I'm at my new place, um, and it's a pretty cool new place. You got the dog crate over there, you got my TV and dresser over there. You even got my bookcase right there. But um, yeah, um, I didn't get to bring all my books with me, and that would have been uh, very chaotic because I have a lot of books. Um, so I put most of my books in storage. Uh, I only brought the essential books or the important books. So um, I brought like autographed books, I brought rare books, and then I brought my coming of age bookshelf or uh, coming of age collection. So yeah, um, those were the important books for the most part. Um, I do have a lot of more books that I wish I had on me because, yeah. But um, honestly, I don't need all those books right now. Um, they could be in storage, they'll be safe, you know. We taped them up so rats can't get them and use my books as bedding. I just, yeah. But anyways, this is a book mail video. We're not here to talk about my move unless you want to hear more about it. Um, I'll take pictures later and maybe post it. I don't know. But um, yeah, today we have book mail. And both of these books happen to be the same size. So that's pretty cool. But um, anyways, we have Only the Stains Remain by Ross Jeffrey. It's a Bram Stoker nominated author. And you may know Ross Jeffrey from his YouTube channel. Um, that's cool too. But he's mostly an author. And uh, he's actually reviewed one of my books before. And he said he kind of liked it, I think. I, I can't remember. But it doesn't matter. Anyways, the point I'm showing this is because it got into the mail. And um, yeah, I'll read the back for you guys. And then you can decide if this is a book for you. But this is the first Ross Jeffrey book I own. And I believe this is a solo novel if you know what i mean like there's no this isn't a series or anything at least i don't think it is so yeah this is where i wanted to start with my ross jeffrey uh read so or um this is my first ross jeffrey book is what i'm trying to say so anyways let me read the back for you guys um and then we will uh, continue so here we go only the stains remain is a haunting story of jude and kyle two brothers whose lives are destroyed when following the death of their mother through their Three abusive uncles, Dwight, Lucas, and uh, Lu Lucius, Lu no, wait, no, Lucius, and Lenny move into the family home. But while Jude suffers to a degree, Kyle is the one who takes the burnt of the attention of their attention, submitting himself to preserve his younger brother's innocence. As a grown man, Jude's mind turns to vengeance for what they have endured. He has waited way a long time, but now he is strong enough and cold-hearted enough to do the de deed. The deed, <laughs> enacting one harrowing, harrowing ugh, I cannot talk today, guys. Harrowing revenge after another. Jude's dark quest to punish the wrongs of the past will show that after all is said and done, only the stains of the past will remain. Now, that's an epic synopsis right there. I like it. Um, I don't know when I'm going to get around to reading it, but I do want to read it very, very soon. I did promise three people that I would read their books, which is rare for me because I rarely say I will read someone's book. Because honestly, um, I never get around to it and I make them, I, I, I hate making authors feel bad, you know? It's just I don't have that much time. And when I do, I'm a mood reader. So I got to read whatever the mood is. But I have Jesse D'Angelo's Lady of the Lake that I need to read soon. I have Rob Shepard's, um, oh, what was it called? Simeonimus. And then I have um, a book coming my way called, um, oh, geez, what was it called? The Best of Intentions by Joshua Macmillan, I think it is. Um, I'm going to be reading all those books very soon. Um, I don't really have an order where I'm going to read them in, but uh, I, I hope I let the authors know that it might take a while. If not, this is, if you are watching this, it may take a while for me to get to your books, 
but I will get to them, I promise. Um, so yeah, but anyways, um, only the stains remain by Je Ross Jeffrey. And then next we have a book that I've actually been wanting to get for a long time, ever since uh, my author friend Daniel J. Volpe has been talking about it. Um, he, he told me about this idea he had a while back, and honestly, I support it 100%, and then he actually wrote it, so that's better than what I do. Um, I rarely finish things, so, yeah, but it's A Gift of Death by Daniel J. Volpe. Now, I know what this is about, but I'm still gonna read the synopsis. It's a little long, so buckle in. So here we go. A Gift of Death is on tour. The three band members, Saren, VX, and Arsenic, travel the country playing their dark brand of music for screaming fans. Their violent lyrics and goth style draw people to them, but something else is drawing people to their mysterious trio. Something sinister. They feed off the energy of the crowd, but desire something more. Blood. Cameron Snyder is an outcast. His love of death metal, extreme horror, and his home life have left him on the fringes of high school society. When a prank goes too far, Cameron decides he's had enough. A relic of his dad, dead father calls to him a Colt 1911 handgun. He knows his life is not worth living, but can there be salvation? He then discovers a secret involving one of his favorite bands, a secret that could lead to immortality or death. Nestor and Cyril Visser run a private investigation business. A man shows up one day with a strange request, a deep knowledge of their past, and unlimited money. His request to find his son's killers and execute them. There's a catch, though. He thinks the killers are vampires. A Gift of Death combines heavy metal revenge and bloodshed galore. Oh, yeah, I'm looking very forward to this. This is actually DNT Publishing, which I want to one day send them some of my work because they just seem like an awesome publishing company, honestly. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, A Gift of Death by Daniel J. Volby. Um, I also... My copy here is signed, if you can see that. And it says, oh, all the goodies just fell out. It says, to Nick, watch out, this book has teeth. Thanks for the support. Nice. And then I got a Daniel J. Volpe bookmark. It says, extreme horror and splatterpunk author. And then on the back, it says, follow on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and it gives his handles. And scan the code to see Daniel's books on Amazon. That's actually really cool. I need to do a Q&R code or whatever they call these. So, uh, yeah. And then I got this magnet for the fridge. That's a really cool magnet. I, I love the cover for this book. So, that's really cool that it came with a magnet. And then I got this, like, Gangsta Medusa, which is actually really hot and cool, you know. So, I'm really happy that I uh, he sent that to me. I'm definitely putting that on my laptop. And uh, yeah, that's like well, that's what I got. At least that's all I think I got. I'm pretty sure that's all I got. Um, if I have anything else, it's gonna be inside this book. Oh, how could I forget? I have another sticker and another bookmark. If I can get it. So this is a drinking skeleton. And yes, I have to put this also on my laptop. And then I got a DNT publishing bookmark. So that's really cool. And that should be it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Yeah, that's it. So, yeah, those are my book mail. I only got two books. I don't know if I said that in the beginning or not. But, um, yeah, like I said, one is signed and the other one's by Ross Jeffrey. Um, yeah, I'm really excited to get, dive into this. A Gift of Death has to be read soon because, honestly, it sounds epic. I got to read it soon, like very soon. So, um, yeah. But, um, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm gonna put this, these goodies and the book over here now. And uh, we're gonna close out this video. So um, if you don't know, today I am leaving to go to Scares That Care in Virginia. Yes, it's actually happening. I bought the ticket, but I didn't actually expect to go because I often uh, 
blow things off all the time because I don't prepare for things and then it comes the deadline comes or not deadline but the day of the event comes and then I don't go uh for example the book fair I uh did not get to go to the book fair Detroit's book fair but that's okay it probably didn't have a lot of horror because last time there wasn't a lot of horror so it was just something to meet other authors at and then um, I did go to the Oddity Show, though, as you can see from my hat. Um, and uh, that was a lot of fun, although there was a little bit too much taxidermy for my taste. But, you know, the Oddity part, the Oddity and Curiosity shows, like the stuff they had there was really cool. I found a few things that I liked, and I got a few things that I liked. And, uh, yeah, um, I think I have James hair somewhere on me. But, uh, yeah, anyways, um, actually, that might be my hair. Is it a blonde hair? Huh. Anyways, um, getting a little distracted here. Um, I'm going to Scares That Care in Virginia. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm going there as a fan, so I'm not really going there to give out my books, but I am bringing my books with me because I am supposed to do an author trade with another author, um, obviously. We're gonna, he's gonna give me his books and I'm gonna give him my books. So, um, at least that's how it's supposed to go down. If he doesn't remember that, I'm down for buying his books. But, um, yeah, I'm bringing my books just in case. And, uh, yeah. So, if you are going to Scares That Care, uh, maybe you'll run into me. Maybe we'll bump into each other. That would be awesome. But, uh, anyways, I am going to close this video out now. I hope you like the book mail. Um, I think these are two books are really, really cool. Um, the Gift of Death is going straight on my bookshelf. Obviously, in my Daniel J. Volpe uh, books that are autographed, um, I have two Billy, copies of Billy Silver signed. Then I have uh, The Gift of Death, Talia, and Awakened in Blood. So, yeah, I got, his old cl I got everything he's made or written so far. And then the same goes for Aaron Beauregard, but he just released a book called The Son of the Slob. So I need to get that one soon, and I won't read the synopsis for that one because I already I haven't I own the first one and I haven't read it yet. So, but just because there's a sound of the slob, makes me think I know what's gonna happen in the first book, which is kind of a bummer, but that's okay. I mean, I had a lot of time to read the slob and I didn't, so that's my that's on me. But anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. I hope you have a spooky night. And I'll catch you in the next video. Yo, know, peace out, guys. Na 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 na